Hey everybody, it's your boy Gucci, or Captain Gucci, if you want to call me that. And today I'm doing a flight from Fairbanks to Anchorage. Um, but the video I'm showing you right now is about a pre-flight inspection of a Cessna 172. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these yokes here so that way I can see everything. Um, so the pre-flight inspection is basically what a pilot needs to perform on their own airplane before they go flying. Uh, and it's very important because uh, it's really essential to check the airplane for any damage and the current condition. If it's flyable, um, then he's good to go uh, afterwards. So I'm just going to go run through a checklist which is what they use here. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. So, pre-flight inspection. Here's the whole checklist. It's uh, basically it's a w walk around uh, the whole airplane, starting from the cabin, and it will end at the left flap area of the wing. So, again, this is really important to just to make sure everything works fine for flight. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started through the checklist. First, pedal tube cover. It's the it's this uh, thing over here which covers the pedal tube. And basically, the pedal tube is for uh, the airspeed indicator, and it measures. It's very important because it measures how fast you're going, and you don't want that frozen um, during the f during flight. So actually. Let me see what the temperature is outside today. It's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not bad. It's really cool. I'm gonna, actually I'm going to go ahead and open my windows. Let that air in. See, so cabin is nice and warm and rapidly because I opened the windows, obviously. Hey, that rhymes. Um, <laughs> Okay, so back to the checklist. Pitot tube cover, we will want to remove that. Here, we're the camera there again. Remove that, so that's off. Pilot operating handbook is inside the plane. It's over here in the passenger side area. Weight and balance, I just topped off um, with fuel. And basically, these two wings, left side and the right side, have fuel tanks in them. So that's really good and we have nothing carrying in our airplane like we have no luggage or anything it's just me the pilot 170 pounds um, I, I don't weigh that much in real life but it's it's a simulator again okay so parking brake is set control wheel lock it's this part here for the yoke make sure nothing moves we will remove that oh that's the wrong one that's the real chocks controls lock I'm losing my train of thought here. I'll just put this one back on and move it around just to make sure if things good. Um, ignition stretch is off. That's the key over here. Make sure that's in the off position. And uh, I'll just zoom in so you can just see better. So that's off. Avionics master switch is off. Battery master switch is on. Pitot heat, which heats up the pitot tube, which we just removed the cover for. So turn that on so that way it warms up. Fuel quantity, we will want to check that on the gauge over here. I topped the, the aircraft with fuel already, so we should have about 26 gallons of fuel. So both are good. Avionics master switch is on. Make sure, if you look over here, make sure everything works correctly and is uh, in good condition. Turn on the avionics switch. And that loud beep you just heard is for the autopilot. So that works. Um, transponder is working good. It's on standby at the moment. Uh, radio stack is on. GPS. I have everything set in the GPS already according to my flight plan I just set up. 
And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and look at the frequency for ink, uh, correction. What is it? Fairbanks. Fairbanks, Alaska. i got to remember. Uh, it's 121.8, so I'm going to set that over here. 121.8. Okay, and I'm going to set this second one to Unicom, which is 122.95. Wrong way. Okay, leave that in there. Oh, I just got to fix that. 121.8, there we go. Right, so radio is working, GPS, everything is good. Static pressure alternative source valve is uh, off. And if you look over here, it's pulled all the way back, meaning it's on. So we want to turn that off, so push forward. Uh, annunciator, annunciator panel test switch. Check that all lights illuminate. So it's over here. If you look over here, let's see. It's brightly illuminated right now. We want to test all the lights. And while I'm at it, I'll just set that to GPS mode. So test. We'll flip the switch. Hold it there for a few seconds, and everything looks good. And uh, just wait for all the flashing to stop, and make sure the appropriate lighting is appropriate. Okay, that's good. Now, fuel selector. If you go down here, here, it's on the bottom near the floor. This is the fuel selector, and the fuel shut off. Fuel selector should be set to both, so we fl we flip that to the middle. Uh, fuel shutoff valve is pushed in, pull it, push it on. Flaps, if you go back up here, and uh, I'll just remove the yoke here again. Here's the flap switch. We want that all the way down, so it's all the way down to 30 degrees, and then we check our Flaps, make sure we we visually check to make sure they're going down. That one's down, and then the left side is down as well. Okay, now we'll turn off the pitot heat and uh, avionics and battery master switch off and to save battery. And elevator trim is set for takeoff. We check over here, it's already on the line, the arrow. Now we can move on to the next section of the pre-fill inspection. Poo tube cover, check that it's removed. We already did during our cabin check. Uh, now we have to check with our fingers in real life, that is. Check that the pitot tube is warm to touch and you don't want to hold it for so long so it won't burn your fingers. And basically over here there's going to be a circle that will illuminate red, meaning it's warm. So we'll go ahead and do that and it's red, we've let go right away. On to the next step, we will check the fuselage. No damage anywhere, and then we'll go ahead and make sure our baggage door is locked. It's locked. Now we move on to the tail section. Inspect, we'll remove the tie down over here and check the control surfaces, check for movement and security. Basically, we'll check for the hinges and moving controls. Or, yeah. So, everything's good there. Second part. That is good as well. Check, check, check. There we go. Trim tab, it's this section over here. We will want to wiggle that, make sure it's nice and tight. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Trim tab, wiggle. Looks good. Check the antennas, they're in good condition. Right on. Move on to the next side. Right side wing flap. It's the one we extended a while ago. First we'll check for its security and condition. Check the hinges. Everything looks in good condition. And we will wiggle the the wing flap. Make sure that's nice and tight as well. It's good to go. On to the right side wingtip. And 
No damage to the wing. Check for security. Hinges are good. On to the front side of the right wing. Inspect the right wing. Make sure there are no signs of damage. And then we'll d go ahead and disconnect this tie down. So leading edge is good. Right side main tire. One in real life, you want to make sure it's in proper inflation and condition. It looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next. Fuel tank sump quick. <laughs> excuse me. Quick drain valves. You want to drain some fuel, inspect it, make sure it's good, and it looks good. Onto the fuel tank area. You'll want to visually check for the desired level. We topped it off. So we should have an indication right over here of 26 gallons. And it's shown easily over there with that blue line. On to the next side is the nose area. We will want to check the condition of the oil. And in real life, it's very important because uh, we don't want your engine to sit for a long period of time with dirty black oil because the acids will form and internally corrode the engine which will be bad and what I like about it it's pretty it's like I find it fascinating it's simulated in real time even when my computer is off so if my computer is off and I'm not running the simulation um, it simulates corrosion so let's see how it looks and um, I have I forgot how many hours I have in this aircraft let's see 16.4 hours. So we're flying this airplane frequently, so we can wait till 40 hours. Um, and we just checked for the oil. Nothing is completely black or anything. All right, move on to the next one. So this is the nose uh, nose gear. You want to check the wheel. It's in proper inflation and condition. Looks good. Check for the strut. It's in good condition as well. And we will also want to check for the fuel strainer quick drain valve. And it looks good as well. On to the nose area. Check for damage and security. I don't see anything whatsoever, so we're good. Engine cooling air inlets. Make sure it's clear of obstructions. Uh, the air filter, is air filter is clear of debris. Don't see anything, so we're good as well. Now, this is the left static source opening. If you can see over here, it's those five holes. Make sure that is not blocked because that will measure our air pressure outside during our altitude. Now we move on to the left wing check the fuel tank in there visually 26 gallons is good to go fuel tank sump quick drain valves check that as well it's good condition and inspect the pitot tube and everything looks good from there onto the leading edge actually we'll look at the wheel first check for proper inflation and condition yep good to go left side leading edge wing fuel tank vent opening it's this part here make sure there's no blockage because we want the vent for the fuel tank uh... stall warning really important for flight because if we stall we need that warning t to be aware of uh... what's going on with the airplane so clear that up wing tight out disconnect Laying light and taxi light looks good. Leading edge, no damage. I don't see anything. Onto the wingtip. Wingtip lights, good condition. Check for proper movement and security. Hinges look good. Move on to the rear side, the flap area. Check the flap hinges. Looks good as well. And make sure this is secure also. And it's secure. That concludes our pre-flight inspection. So now that we've completed that, we are ready to start the engine. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and move on in with my flight and start the engine and contact air traffic control for clearance and everything and move on with my flight so that has been your boy Gucci Captain Gucci signing off I'll see you on the next video take care guys